Hey brother, how are you? <sighs> Just got back from a hard day's work. Teaching kids, having arguments with co-workers. Some, uh, one woman is really pissing me off, so. But, uh, let's not go into that. So, I guess it's just the usual work life that you have to deal with. So, yeah, this is me. This is, uh, kind of stuff that I wear. First thing I do when I come home, eat cookies. <laughs> I must admit, um, I've gotten through this quite quite quickly. Lauren sent it for me for my birthday. M and S cookies. They are literally orgasmically tasting cookies. They are so good. So maybe this should be like a little YouTube advert, but um, yeah, man, they are amazing. And it <laughs> it cost her like ten pounds just to send the box to me. So um, I decided I'd treat myself. So yeah, I've been eating them. Normally grab myself a bit of juice when I come home. Hits the spot. And then um, normally just um, relax on my lovely uncomfortable sofa. <laughs> and also drink lots of water because it's so hot over here. Hence the sweating, platy, version of myself so yeah um got myself my cards out on my desk from ma from lauren uh from lauren and got one from aj and then if you come over here see my room and got my cards from mum nan and grandma and then i've done a little bit of decoration with some some cool postcards on my wardrobe this is my wardrobe so i've got myself a little bum bag which is really useful perfect for traveling really good got my got my bag that i designed my bags here and my little backpack and uh, if you open it a bit more i've got actually i, I, I I did some washing a couple of weeks back that um, it was dry and I just hung it up. But I bought this, this is some fabric that I normally drape over my sofa or over my chair to make it look better and feel better. But it's, it's just come out, well it came out of the wash like two weeks ago but I forgot to put it back on so yeah. But maybe today I'll put it on because I have now been reminded. Got some school shirts that I wear. Got some jazzy new pants. They're like the best thing ever. Got myself uh, this tie skirt and this tie skirt, which are really nice. Got my own t-shirts in here. Got my, got brought them with me. Uh, no jeans in sight because it's just absolutely far too hot for that shit. Got loads of shorts. Uh, got loads of tank tops, loads of short crop tops. Although this is the only warm thing I have, I bought this from the market for 150 baht. It's three pounds, and it's actually, if you look closely, it's a Levi Levi's shirt. It's Levi's, and like man, that would have been like hundreds of pounds, brand new. But I love it, and it looks exactly the same as the one I have at home, which I know is a bit pointless, but I didn't bring it here. So I thought in winter, when it gets that, takes the edge off, it'll be good to, as a, instead of a coat or a jacket, because you just don't need that. It's an, a good extra layer, so I spent my money on that. I also have a blazer, which I wore on the first day at school, and then I never wore again because it's too hot. And I have some gym stuff, which also I've worn once. I went on a run once after school. Worst decision of my life. Literally worst decision of my life. I was like, so I'm sweating now, right? This is just normal. Every day in my apartment, normal. Okay, it's fine. I can deal with that. But when you go running 
and you're like, <gasps> and you sweat buckets and like no one else was running. And I was like, why does no one run over here? I know why. Now I know why. It's too hot for that. Far too hot. I felt like I was on fire from the outside in and the inside out both it was disastrous so that gym stuff never no no not happening so yeah i mean i feel like i look okay and also if you go in further to my master wardrobe you will find a hammock so it's very comfortable i'm not going to sit on it because i will break my wardrobe and I can pretend, and this is how it would look. Woo! So yeah, that's my hammock. Unfortunately, um, I can't use it here because there is nowhere to hang it up. I tried on my balcony and I failed epically. I broke my window. I laid on the hammock. I fell off the hammock. <laughs> and I put my knee through my window. Um, luckily, I wasn't hurt that much. I just had cuts everywhere, but only little ones. And, but my window was <sighs> smashed on top of me. So I won't be using the hammock until the beaches. Okay, this is my bedroom. Excuse the awful mess. I have a lot of clothes washing that needs to get done. I'll take you there to show you that interesting part of my life later. But for now, here's the bedroom. <laughs> this is my bedroom. I bought myself a nice uh, comforter blanket, which is very suave. I also have nice purple bedding, uh, a lot of flowers to, to brighten up my room because it was really bland and white when I moved in. So yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Best part is it's a double bed. So this street, it's called Mitchell Park Road and it's the main road that links Bangkok to the northeast of Thailand, which is Isan. I live in Pakchong. There's only a few foreigners here. So when you first move here, you get noticed a lot. You kind of feel like a celebrity because everyone, all eyes are on you all the time. But that's also quite a bad thing. You can't really get up to anything bad or anything mischievous, which, you know me, it's a bit of a shame. Um, <laughs> I also once had my two guy mates stay with me and they were literally just my guy mates, but they stayed in my room and since then the cleaner has been really weird so like she uh i left the door open in the morning for my other friends to come down because we were all going out for the day together and she stuck her head in and she saw me and my friend david and was like oh hello hello and then i was like hi <laughs> like kind of this is awkward she thinks something's going on and then my <laughs> Then my friend James stuck his head round from the fridge and she was like, hi. And you could just see her ticking away and going, oh my God. And she blatantly thinks we had some kind of threesome slash orgy slash sexual intercourse. And actually we didn't, we're just friends. But since then, she has been really touchy feely. She actually wants uh, came up to me and just grabbed my boob, which was really fucking weird. Um, the way I solved that problem was I just went... Bye. So, and I think it solved it. It was very weird. Um, it was a weird situation to be in. And, yeah, I just now say hello to her and that's about it. So that's fine but she also refused to uh, do some cleaning when I asked her to um, which she should have done really because I paid so but she didn't do it so 
I think maybe she doesn't like me anymore, which is a bit weird, but whatever. Anyway, so I'm going to get changed because I'm absolutely boiling and I just got back from school and decided to blog you, but now I'm starting to realise I need to get changed. So bear with me. Whoa! How did I manage to do that? Cool. I uh, don't really have a view out of this window, but it's still quite nice. Sometimes if I'm getting changed or if I'm just walking around naked, then I can have this window open and like kind of maybe shut the others because this is a bit more public and then I can still get away with it. So it's pretty cool. I've worked that one out. You can see this is like my kind of secret wall of nice letters or meaningful things to me. Uh, so I've got a letter from mum up here that I got that is just filling me in on, on everyday life in England to do with her and you, Nathan, uh, like all our cousins and stuff. So that's, that's quite a nice. Sometimes if I'm down, I'll like give it a little read. And this one's a really nice postcard uh, from one of my guy mates and he's really lovely. And I was really, really happy when I received it. It's, he sent it from India to me. Um, just basically to say happy birthday and that he'd enjoyed seeing me in Thailand because he came over to Bangkok. Uh, he was just traveling, but we met up in Bangkok, which was really nice. And so, yeah, and so this is going to be my wall of letters that every time someone sends things to me uh, or meaningful things, I'm going to just stick them on there. So Lauren's, Lauren's cards that she sent me, I'm going to stick them up there. Um, yeah, and like maybe you can send me something and I'll stick it to my wall of fame. <laughs> and so, yeah, but obviously if it's a nice card, I can present it for a while and then it can go on my wall of fame. So for now, Lauren's are still out on my table because they're uh, close to my heart and I only received them yesterday. Over here, I've just like decorated my walls a bit. So I printed off some of my own illustrations and actually these are these are the things I don't know if you remember Matt but he made he made these for me like years and years ago when I went to America for the summer camp and I brought them with me because I I found them in my room like spontaneously when I was sorting stuff out and I thought you know what they're going to look really good on my wall in Thailand and they're just cheer me up they're really meaningful quotes He's obviously put a lot of time and effort into making them for me. I didn't appreciate it at the time, and now I do. And so they take prime position around a lot of my room. So yeah, they cheer me up. And they're very colorful, and yeah, they just, they work a charm. So they're right up there on my wall. If you come over here, my worried poem right next to my bed, and also specifically next to my motorbike key, if I spent every day worrying that I was going to have a crash, I wouldn't enjoy driving. If I spent every day worrying that if I have a crash and died, I'm not properly insured for it, then I would also waste my time worrying. If you worry, it steals yourself of a day that is yet to come. There's no point worrying. Everyone that is a teacher over here is in the same position as me. And, you know, we all have to deal with that. So, and I just have to be careful when I drive and hope for the best. And there are some crazy people out there, but I'm equally at risk if I'm just walking along on the street. It's the same risk for me because I know I can drive. I know I'm good at it. I enjoy it. If I'm walking, I'm less in control and less at, and more at risk. Personally, that's how I feel. So that goes up next to my motorbike key. I've also got some nice postcards that I bought. Um, so they take up some nice space. This is my bathroom. I won't go in there. Like, it's fine. It's not a mess, but it's just a bathroom. This is another card I got. I got this from Nathan, so it's really cool. I painted this little beauty. There was a custard apple festival, and it was 20 bar to paint a minion. That's 40p. You know, do you remember how much I used to spend on painting in England? Like, I love painting, but I don't understand how they can make money out of something that's 40 pence. I sat there for an hour and a half painting for 40 pence. In England, it would have cost me a minimum £3.50 just to sit there, 
and then it would have cost like fiver for the actual minion and the paint. Like, and still those people at the studios struggle to make money. So I don't know how they make money from that. It's pretty big. Um, I thought it would be big enough for a hammock, but apparently not. And I ended up, <coughs> as you can see, it's fine, I've cleared a lot of it up now. But as you can see, I ended up breaking my window. I've had to replace some of these panels um, because I broke it. The good thing was that when I broke it, um, <clears throat> I told the woman and she said I needed to replace it and I said okay. And it ended up costing me 50 baht per panel, like a pound per glass panel. I thought it was going to cost me my whole deposit of what I paid, but it wasn't. So that actually worked out really well. So lesson learned, can't hang up a hammock on your balcony. There's nowhere to hang it and there's a glass window right there. So the hammock's going to have to wait for the beach, but it's not the end of the world. I've still got the really nice view. <coughs> and it's got quite a nice sunset if I want to see it. Now that I've uh, had a bit of a chat to you, I've now actually got to do some chores, which is what I was supposed to do earlier today anyway. After just scoffing a load of uh, cookies, shh, I've nearly finished the whole pack and I only received them on Tuesday. But you know what? When you haven't even eaten chocolate cookies, or anything, something that delicious for a long time, you eat it quick. Okay, so I've probably put on like a stone in the last three days, but I won't be eating it again for ages. So I'm thinking of it like that, but whatever. Like, I'm quite ashamed actually. I averaged out, I've been eating about seven cookies a day, <laughs> which is really bad, but whatever. Okay, she bought them for me, cost her 10 pound to send them to me. I can't go to waste. The ants might eat them if I don't, so I've got to get in there. Anyway, so I'm just gonna do organise myself for all my washing. Um, it's a bit boring, but you know, it's gotta be done. And I thought I would ask you a couple of questions while I'm doing it. Numero uno. Tell me a bit about your new bird, because Nan and Mum have both said you've got a girlfriend. And I'd be really interested to know more about that. I've got some really nice tie-dye outfits, but I can't put them in with my washing because <clears throat> it would just dye everything blue. This is one of my favourite new shirts, although I wish it said Alone Traveller or Solo Traveller rather than Lonely. Because of the lot of the time, I'm not lonely. I'm loving life. I think that's just about it. Loaded kids playing football <laughs> and motorbikes. And a wild dog, if you're lucky.
คสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะสกัดโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเฮ้ยคุณชอบไปบล็อกกับเธอคุณเป็นคนที่น่าสนใจในการพูดคุยกับเธอครับแล้วพบกันใหม่ครับนี่คือเรื่องแรกที่คุณจะไม่คาดหวังว่าฉันจะทำSo, I did have a nice amount of whitewashing, but it's now all pink. Literally my least favourite colour, and now half of the stuff I own is baby pink. So, I'm guessing it was my new bedding that did it. I now have a, a baby pink towel, which used to be completely white. A baby pink white bra, a baby pink hanky, shorts that were cream that are now pink and brown, pink and brown. I now have an even more ruined Hard Rock Cafe T-shirt, which was like my old top to wear, like my cool old top to wear at like parties or at UV because that's where I first ruined it. So it's still got some of the UV paint on, and now it's pink. It's pink. I used to be pure white, and now I have a disgustingly green slash brown slash random bits of pink. I don't know how that's gonna dry out, but that also looks disgusting. I'm just gonna look so queer. It's so pink, tinged pink. Oh my god. This is vile, really. Is it's like a pajama top now. It's so not me. That's horrid. That used to be pure white. Pure white. 